Wow. Yeah. That music could mean only one thing. A tuxedo. It has become the hallmark of a man about to get married, or in this case, save the world from crime and rid it of violence. James Bond, that's the reference. <laughs> um, and uh, our groom, Charlie, is no exception to this long standing tradition. Is everybody okay over there? Yeah. Uh, Seth Washitz is here, and he is from the men's warehouse, and he's going to help Charlie and all of us get that, that look, that yes. James Bond, better than James, James Bond, Bond look, in a tuxedo. And we're going to ask all add a few personal touches as well. Welcome. Um, would you reintroduce father in law yes. and, your, and your dad? Father in law to be, Eddie Kiss. Hi, hey, welcome, Eddie. Eddie. Hello. Hello. I got my father, Ben Bontemper. Hi, Welcome, look at there. Hi. The date's growing near, it's growing near. You're gonna look good. He's excited uh, about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very excited. <laughs> okay. Well, good. So do you, well, do you have a question for Seth about the tux that you want to use, that you want to pick out? Well, yeah. it's a tradition in my family that I'm gonna start, which is uh, the men are gonna wear white tuxedos. My grandfather wore it, and my dad chose to wear white, and I wanna wear white, so. All right. Okay. Yeah, right. that's well, what I'd like to do. Okay. All right. And All right. you feel good about, about him wearing white? Absolutely. Right. It's an Italian tradition. There Christine should know that. Yes. Yeah. Tradition is very important. It is very important. Mm. Um, all right, so we need some help going down the line here. So uh, starting off with the white and others, what are, the what are first of all, the latest sort of summer trends, too, that we're looking at when it comes uh, to... You're going to see a lot of tan. Mm -hmm. To my right here is the, the Vera Wang in black, both okay. regular and slim. Then you have also the gray, which is very popular. It comes in regular and slim also by Vera Wang. This is the tan suit rental three-piece uh, that is new to the line of, lineup for the men's warehouse for summer. That's beautiful. Well, I, think I that's really so beautiful. like that. Isn't it? It's very I, fresh. I yeah. even suggested to Charlie if he went with that, you know, their colors have watermelons. So we could change the tie to watermelon and watermelon, little kerchief. And, uh, I like that. But he, nice. he wants to stick with white, so yeah. we're going to. Well, finally, not to disappoint, gorgeous. you have the white dinner jacket here by Michael Kors narrow lapel and uh, uh, this is this is another new one for our retail lineup and accompanied by a black tuxedo pant I think that's very elegant I think we had to get you in a what, slip you in one of those uh, yeah. white you have, you have, oh Seth brought one let's see how this is going to look and, so and fit. Charlie when we fit you okay we fit you put this put me slip your right hand through here we do the following oh. Oh. There. Oh jacket please there. on the top button only yeah we want Gabby should not be looking right now, by the way. Gabby? Is Gabby should, in this? She should here? not be. No. no. Avert your eyes. First and foremost, we want the shoulders to be square at a 90 degree angle. Okay? Cleanly across the, the, the shoulders. Uh -huh. To give him a little bit more flattery and shaping uh, with a modern or contemporary fit would be to take in the sides a little bit to, to flatter his silhouette. And finally, you want the coat length to be within one to two inches covering the seat, which the coat does. And you want your sleeves to be approximately at break of the wrist so that you show for a formal affair with a formal garment at least a half an inch to a quarter inch perhaps basing on preference of shirt, shirt sleeve. Now, Seth, when you go to rent a tuxedo, can you have it altered or you have to take it as is? We fit you so that when the garment comes in, it fits you as if it was your own garment. Uh, we do all measurements. We take all inseam and outseam measurements to make sure that and fit you appropriately based on your body, sty ty body style and type so that when the garment comes in, it's ready to wear and nothing else is needed. Well, how do you, I'm sorry, how do, how do you personalize it for the gentleman? To, to personalize it, to give it a little bit of color and flavor, what you can do is trim the pocket with a colored or printed pocket silk, similar to what I'm wearing, uh, in the coordinating colors for vests and bridesmaids dresses. Likewise, you can also do a, a fancy stud set as well in a different color. You mentioned at the top of the show, we were talking about renting or purchasing a tux. Now, a white tux is, even a black tux, you can get away. A white says such a statement when you wear it. For something like this, would you, where's that threshold, that line where you go, you know, maybe I'll rent versus buy. What's your feeling? So if you're going to wear a garment multiple times, three or more, over the course of, let's call it a, a several year period, three to five years, uh -huh. generally it's cheaper to purchase and own and have the garment uh, re-altered if necessary over time. If you're going to wear it once or twice over the course of five years, you would want to rent it. Uh, it's more economical that way. Charlie, are you going to wear the cummerbund with it? Are those still in? Those we see uh, uh, very much a resurgence like in like, the James Bond type oh, look. Oh, yeah. really? Very classy to wear with the white dinner jacket and the white tuxedo. Are you going to do that? I don't know. You don't know? You're not going to, because you mentioned you wanted to be all white. Remember? It yeah. To me before, and, and yeah. how do you feel about it now? Are you going to wear the dark pants? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really undecided. I, I wore all white to my senior prom. 
Okay, and I had married. so much. <laughs> I know, but I had so much fun in that in that tuxedo. Uh, okay. I want to relive that again on my wedding day. And well, it's your my wedding. grandpa wore all white, and my dad wore all white. And yes. but this is it's it's pretty clean looking. The black all right. with the white. Well, come here. Let's talk cufflinks. Real yeah, quick. you know, I, I, if I can jump in for a second, because I, we Perfect. talked about my days at ET and, like and doing it, and and a lot of times we get swallowed up. You know, I felt that way when we do red carpets because it's all about the ladies and their gowns, right? As mm -hmm. it's going to happen Friday when we go to the red carpet and no one even knows my name because they're looking at my co-host who will look beautiful as ever. I'm well, sure. thank you. But a way that, to kick it up, and we were, I was suggesting this, is to Man, find, and you right. all agree too, you've got the, the pocket square, you've got the tie clip on and, and, and cuff links. By the way, do you have to wear French cuffs? No. I hope you don't. No. You don't have to wear French cuffs if you don't need to. But th these are wonderful. And you can go vintage. Uh, you can get old school if you want to stay classical, get traditional. But these are wonderful. These are from uh, cufflinks.com. And there's a wide variety of different things that you can so accessorize great. with um, as well. Uh, on the site, oh, there's like f there's 4,000 different styles oh, and whatnot. Look at this little bride and groom on this one. Look at Is that. There? I have some that I that? have some that have little race cars on it. I have some oh, that have sweet. little microphones on it. I have some that's a camera because it's all my passions. But they have little signature ones that are really cool. Look at these with the and little I pink ones. Love those. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Seth, do you have a surprise? I understand for our groom. Yes, all the tuxedos for the groomsmen, the groom, and the fathers are going to be comped as per the men's wear. Wow. Get comped. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Thank you. Wow. Wow. I say we live that prom. Thank you. Or whatever it is. Uh, was it prom? Is that what you, what, yeah. your high school? Nice. Wonderful. That was fun. Uh, cufflinks, by the way, has made custom cufflinks for you and your groomsmen as well. So really? you'll be walking. Yeah, you'll be going home with those as well. You're going to be decked awesome. out. And on this, this is wedding. what you're going to wear on your tie. This is for me from my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you to wear. <laughs> Seth, thank you, thank you so there much you for being here from uh, Men's Warehouse. And uh, we want to thank cufflinks.com as well. Yes, thank you. Uh, and guys, thanks for being here thank and you. being a part. Pleasure. Thank you. Guys are you guys are going to win see. on Friday, too, by the way. Are we? Oh, oh yeah. no. we, we already we feel like we're winners. We are. Um, and you, again, go personalize because these add such the, a good touch date. for guys when you're out oh, and you're cool. wearing the same thing everybody else is wearing. It sets you apart. Look, this uh, has their initials next. and the date of their wedding. This is very special. Oh, that's nice. That's you nice. see? Great. Thank you.